Save 7 starts with a story. There's a shopkeeper here at our Marty store. She's a 30 year old woman and she was born with a freak genetic condition. But her kidneys had failed by the time she was 30. And the same was true for her sister who died two years previously awaiting a life-saving kidney transplant that never came. Now she was sitting in the exact same position, quite literally waiting to die. This was a story that I heard in my first year when we first got together to start Save 7. That story gripped us and as a group of medical students, we got together and we said, okay, we are not going to wait until we get our NBCHBs to do something about this. And now here we are four years later standing in what is an almost complete life pod, a transplant ICU where potential donors can come while awaiting an organ harvest operation. And this operation isn't any ordinary operation because a normal one will save one life. This one will save seven. Both you and me have seven life-saving organs inside of us and we're going to donate those one way or another after we die. The question is, do we donate it to the ground or do we donate it to Lynette? Do we donate it to any of the 5,000 South Africans waiting for a life-saving transplant for that second shot at life? We have a lot of patients with end-stage organ failure, but we don't have a lot of organ donors. For this reason, uh, transplantation is a very important thing in South Africa because we constantly have to remind ourselves how we develop it and how we make transplantation more accessible in a country like ours. How do we use the current technology and opportunities for transplantation um, in our context? The life pod is an opportunity to increase deceased donation in our context. So it is a place where we can keep people who are potential donors uh, for their organs after death. Um, these are usually patients who get certified as being brain dead. And uh, we can then use this very special place to have this patient wait get the family, get the consent done, and get the patient stabilized to become an actual organ donor. As we know, hospital beds are such a precious commodity in our country. Someone always needs a bed. And if you have a brain dead donor sitting in the emergency ward or in the trauma ward, they're essentially taking up a spot for someone who is still living, someone who at times could be fighting for their life. Anyone who is brain dead or can become a potential donor, they have to make way for someone who needs that bed, and rightly so. But what happens to that person? They get sent straight to the morgue and thereafter probably buried, and they take with them their organs, organs which could have transformed the lives of seven other people. The Save Seven Life Pod is a dedicated donor ICU room designed specifically to maintain and nurse a brain dead donor. When someone becomes brain dead, obviously that person is no longer there, but their body still needs to be maintained on life support. That is to ensure that blood pressure is adequate, that all the necessary organs are getting the oxygen that they need, and all that needs to be monitored and checked. And so this life pod, this ICU room, is kitted out with everything that you would expect from a vitals monitor to infusion sets to ventilators. We've got everything needed to support and take care of a donor. And that can take 24 to 36 hours of maintenance and nursing until the surgery team is eventually prepped and ready to then do the, the surgery and procure those organs. Yeah, now we're, now we're privileged to be starting, standing in Africa's first transplant ICU ready for action. Yeah, our estimates are sitting at about one to two donors per month. It's just over a hundred lives each and every year. I'm sure most people can think of someone in their lives that is suffering from a chronic disease. And I think when people hear about the life pod and what it aims to do through donation and transplantation, they think of those loved ones in their life and they see the ability of this life pod to transform many other lives and be able to almost get a second chance at living a fulfilled life.